Is someone about to be thrown under the bus? That's the question everyone's asking after NPR decided to do real reporting and discuss Ukrainian corruption. It could be a collective message being sent that the billions of dollars being sent to Ukraine for military aid by the U.S. and NATO countries is finally drying up. Hard to say. Too early to tell. But that being said, they're only doing this after economies are failing, like in Western Europe, Germany facing inflation that's unbelievable and high cost of energy with winter coming. And then, of course, there's France, whose president has lost his majority. In Great Britain, the prime minister has stepped down. And in Italy, the whole government's dissolved. People are angry because they can't get basic services because billions and millions of dollars are being focused on this proxy war um, that the U.S. and NATO is fighting with Ukraine as a battering ram to try to harm Russia. But it's not working. Russia's ruble is one of the highest in the world. And the sanctions aren't working either. There's been different ways that the Western corporate media has assisted the NATO and um, U.S. with their messaging. Some are nefarious. For instance, Kit Clarenberg and Max Blumenthal of Gray Zone News, really good investigative reporters, exposed this plot that was hatched by a supposed left journalist called Paul Mason with the U.S. British intelligence, MI6, to try to bring down um, you know, whole outlets, media outlets, and individual investigative journalists like Gray Zone News, um, Mint Press News, and Consortium News, and others by trying to silence their messaging because they were actually bringing real investigative reporting forward with a different lens other than that Western Empire lens that was being. And then, of course, there's the Ukrainian military kill list. You have a Canadian journalist, Eva Bartlett, a German journalist, Alina Lip. Um, who are on these military kill lists that are very serious. Then you have Patrick Lancaster, who's been doxxed and harassed. Now, all of these reporters are on the ground in Ukraine doing real reporting, but providing another perspective. And for that, they're facing all kinds of problems. For instance, Alina Lip is facing a possibility of a three-year criminal sentence in Germany, plus she had um, her a bank account shut down simply because she reported the truth that the Ukrainian military was engaging in killing civilians and that in the Donbass region, the people of Donbass were happy to see Russian soldiers for protection for a um, conflict that's been going on for eight years where over 14,000 Russian nationals have been murdered by neo-Nazi battalions like Azov. Now, the U.S. and European nations have gone from defending the world from Nazis to actually funding them in Ukraine in this elaborate scheme that will somehow, someday, soon, be revealed as one of the biggest corruption, money laundering schemes by the elites in recent history.